Football practice in December is something new to the Gainesville Leopards. Last year, the club finished with a mediocre 5-5 five and five record and had long since checked in the pads. Coach Jim Thomason credits the turnaround to a blend of experience, two super seniors in particular, and some talented first-year players. The end result? Two platoons and first stringers going only one way. The kids like it because they're not playing tired and, and it's made us a better football team in the second half. And we have to play young kids. We're starting three sophomores offensively and three defensively. And, and they've done a great job for us. And uh, it's just fun football. You've got a couple of veterans in that offensive backfield, though, a couple of senior football players who have really come through for you. Well, we feel like we've got a great quarterback in Jim Price. He's uh, definitely a college prospect, and he uh, he was real cool last Friday night against Brownwood with nine seconds on the clock and it running, and he found that other super back, Ray Overstreet, in the end zone with a pass that won the ball game for us. But uh, the kids up front that uh, did a great job pass protecting for him, uh, you know, deserve as much credit. Coach, it's been a long time since Gainesville has even been in the playoffs. Well, Gainesville hadn't been in the playoffs since 61, and, and they got to the semifinals and were defeated by a team from Dumas that I was helping coach that year. And so it's been our goal to try to get past that uh, position and try to win one. High school students are notorious graffiti artists, but when this whitewash went up some time ago, the Gainesville Leopards were far from being number one. Now, with only the state championship game remaining, the caption can become a reality. Ray Gaskin, Channel 8 News, Gainesville.